Right now, we're less than a week away from Halloween. And with Halloween comes a lot of creepy Minecraft builds, like this haunted house. But this haunted house is unique, in that if you watch for a little while here, you will see that the lightning rods are receiving a little more than their fair share of lightning. And to make it even better, it looks random. You know why? Because it is. What's happening here is all due to the frogs. Let me explain. If we go down into this room and we turn on the lights, you can see four frogs hopping around in here. And what these frogs are doing is hopping onto these pressure plates. Now these pressure plates are on top of command blocks. Now these command blocks have a command that says summon lightning bolt to these coordinates. In this room are four different command blocks. Each command block is a different set of coordinates. So when we go outside, what we're seeing is the frogs jumping from command block to command block, hitting those pressure plates, and triggering the lightning to four different lightning rods. Let's go back inside and I will show you exactly how that's done. Now, like I said, you need command blocks, but if you've never played with command blocks before, they can be a little intimidating at first. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is get a command block. You can't do this in survival. This has to be done in creative and it's really simple. All you need to do is type in this command, give and yourself, in this case, adults only MC, and then type in command block. And you can see it right there. And now I have a command block in my inventory. Now I'm gonna put this command block right there and I need to add the command summon lightning. So I put this in here start typing it in, it'll fill it out for me. And then I need to put some coordinates. If I just hit tab, 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 it's gonna give me the coordinates right where I am, right at that command block. And that's where the lightning's gonna hit. But that's not what we want. What we wanna do is get the coordinates for another lightning rod. So let's go outside and do that. So if we go out here, Better yet, let's do something like right on the peak of the house here. Let's put one right there. And what we're gonna say is summon lightning. And then all we have to do is hit tab, tab. Obviously I'm in Java edition, tab. Now watch what happens when I hit return. You saw the lightning strike right where we had the crosshairs. So that's how we know we're right. Come back down here. I open up my chat. I go up using the up arrow to get this line of code. I select it all and I copy it. All I have to do now is go into this command block, paste it and hit done. Now all we need to do is add a pressure plate. Now, in this case, I'm going to have to hold down shift to put the pressure plate on top of there. Now, if we go back outside, we should see the lightning strike that wool block, and there it was. So if you want to increase the frequency of lightning strikes, you can move the pressure plates closer together. You can add more frogs. You can add more pressure plates. You can also use different animals. But I like the frogs because they kind of keep moving and they hop around and they cover big distances so that you get a little more of that random feel. Pretty simple, huh? If you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, or best of all, share. And if you didn't like this video, please keep it to yourself. Thanks for watching.